to today's video. My name is Whitney. Thank you so much for being here. Today is all about anthropology inspired DIYs all around vases. That sun is hot. So I've been collecting different vases from thrift stores and yard sales and I wanted to kind of do them up anthropology style. There I saw some uh, reed diffusers that anthropology had and I DIY'd a couple dupes for those. And then I also wanted to try out this whole acrylic paint that you mixed with baking soda type of trend that is going on and it gives your vase a terracotta type of vibe. So we are going to be making some faux terracotta vases. We're going to be making some reed diffusers and then I will be talking a little bit about when you're looking for your vases at thrift stores, what exactly to look for to get that anthropology aesthetic and vibe. If you like videos like this, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and join the Whitney fam so you don't miss a video on DIYs, thrift flips, upcycles, home product review, and more. Okay, let's get into it. These are some of the vases that I picked up at the thrift store. I wanted to go for a little bit more of like a gourdy shape that had kind of some interest at the top. Kind of mimic each other but they're also very different. Got this one for $3.50, this one for $0.50, cents, this one for $3, and this one for $3. So I'm gonna go wash these up and then we're gonna start to paint them. All right, so here is my color palette for my vases. Now I'm just gonna start off with kind of an off-white, go into a little bit more of an off-off-white, kind of like a Swiss coffee color, and then into a tan, and then into an almost olive green. So I use this Basics Titanium White as the base for all of these, and in this one, I just added a little drop of this unbleached titanium, and then this one is the same combo, but I added quite a bit more of the unbleached titanium in here. So it's the same tone, but this one's just a little bit more pigmented with the cream color. And then for this more tan one, I used the titanium white as the base and then added in some raw sienna and some yellow oxide. And then for this olive green over here, I used the titanium white as the base and then some of this thalocyanine green and a little drop of this thalocyanine blue and then I went in with this raw sienna to kind of make it a little bit more olivey because it was getting a little bit too blue. So the raw sienna turned it into a little bit more of a neutral olive tone, which I am digging. All right, let's add some baking soda in and get to painting. I'm going to be using this big brush for everything, so I'm going to start off with this color because it's already a messy brush. Oh, that is so nice, my God. All right, we're gonna let this dry, probably do a second coat and then to roughen up the texture a little bit. Hey, baking soda time. So this is kind of dry and I'm taking a drier brush and just giving it some texture. I will be going over this with another coat but I want to get the grain kind of going in the way that I want it to go before this layer fully dries. first layer is dry. I'm just going in with a thin second layer on top of everything. If your paint starts to dry, you can add a little bit of water in there to thin it out. And it doesn't seem like it is diminishing the, the soda effect. Pretty stellar. I love this technique. Mm -hmm. 
So the trick to finding anthropology inspired vases and glassware when you're out at the thrift stores, you're at a garage sale, or you're at a regular store is to look for really kind of precious feminine looking colors and textures. So I found all three of these at different times. This one and this one were both from the same thrift store but about a month apart. And then I actually found this one at Michael's on their clearance rack. So if you can't get to a thrift store or if you're not going to go out yard sailing, you can find things like this at Michael's or Joann's. Also look for glass or prints that have a little bit more of a bohemian vibe. Kind of like these. These were handmade but I picked these up. It was $3 for the set at the thrift store and these are just so beautiful, so cute and definitely an anthropology vibe. I found this pair at the thrift store as well. I'm pretty sure these were a dollar a piece so something like this is going to be great especially if you're going to be using them as diffusers. If you're looking for glassware for diffusers look for something that has a smaller neck like this. All of these pretty much have a smaller neck. It will help your mixture if you're going to either use a carrier oil or if you're going to use a vodka mixture it'll help it to not evaporate as quickly and it will save you in the long run so you don't have to refill them constantly. This little glass vase I picked up at Michael's for a few dollars and just decoupaged it to make it look a little bit more feminine and a little bit more my style. These are just flowers I pulled from the internet and printed them out on tissue paper. I have another video on how to decoupage. I will link that up in the eye and down below. This little glass one before I decoupaged it was almost an exact dupe for one of the shapes of the glasses that they have in one of their floral diffuser sets. These are glass Voss bottles that I didn't know they were making these anymore because I've only seen them in the plastic bottle, but the glass ones are back. Yay! So these are almost an exact dupe for one of the Anthropology diffuser sets. I think it's called Day's Last Night Diffuser. I'll put a picture up on the screen so you can see. I took the labels off and wiped all the sticky residue off with Goo Gone. And then with the lids, I used my drill press and just drilled a little hole in the middle so the reeds and the flowers can stick out. And then I painted up the plastic portion with the baking soda acrylic paint trend that is going on. And these the ones on anthropology are, I think, wood, but this kind of resembles it a little bit. And if you don't have diffuser reeds, you can buy them or you can use little bamboo skewers like I'm going to. And then I also grabbed some fake flowers from Michael's while I was shopping around, a cute little assortment that we are gonna play with and put in our diffusers. You are making your own diffuser base. You can use a carrier oil like this. This is grapeseed oil. You can use sweet almond oil, avocado oil, safflower oil. You can use olive oil, but it's a little bit too thick and it won't draw up the sticks quite as well as a thinner oil like grapeseed oil. You can also make a base. I'm pretty sure she said you could use water and vodka and oil. I'm not really sure, but I will link in the description bar below a couple different blog posts on how to make your own base if you wanted to read a little bit more about this. What I'm gonna do is about a half a cup of a carrier oil and about 30 to 50 drops of my essential oil. Now these are essential oils I picked up at a local grocery store near me. This is Centronella and this is lemon and eucalyptus. I got this citronella because I'm gonna make a few diffusers that sit by windows that don't have screens to hopefully keep some of the mosquitoes and the bugs out. And we'll see if that does the trick. And then lemon and eucalyptus, I just love the scent of lemon and eucalyptus. It's fresh, it's clean, and I would love for my house to smell like this all the time. So these are the two essential oils that I will be using, but you can use whatever essential oils that you want to use. Keep in mind that not all essential oils are good for pets. So if you have a pet that tends to knock things over and to get into your stuff, maybe do a little research on which essential oils are not good for your little fur babies. I will be using these as just regular old flower vases. For the taller ones, I don't have skewers long enough to kind of stick out of the top, so this is going to be a flower vase as well. I just wanted to show you guys kind of what to look for when you're looking for anthropology inspired glassware for your bases. I will definitely be using these two as diffusers, this little decoupaged one as a diffuser, and some of the shorter ones, maybe these two. Before you mix your base and put it into your containers, if you are going to be using fake flowers like this, go ahead and cut these down and place them into your jars so you have the right height because you don't want to be placing them in and then taking them out and cutting them while the base is in your jar because then you'll just waste it and it'll get everywhere and it'll be a mess. So while these are empty, go ahead and arrange your flowers how you want per jar and then mix your base, add it in, add your flowers back in, and there you go.
about a quarter of a cup. And it's a quarter of a cup, I'm gonna do like 20 drops. I don't know how many that was. The oil is so green, it might be better to use the vodka water mixture if you're going to use glass and decoupage it. I cannot get over how cute these vases are, and I love that I started growing flowers this year. Farmer Whitney on the move. And these faux terracotta vases make this little shelf awesome. If you guys are wondering about the shelf, this is an old shutter that I just put two little arm brackets on and turned it into a shelf in this bedroom. All right, thank you so much for joining me on this video, and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye. All right. Oh, you guys tired? Would you like a treat? Do you want a treat? Okay, let's go. Bye, guys.